Um, but before we get into Raw, we got a lot to discuss and uh, chew on in terms of Monday Night Raw. But I want to talk about some wrestling news uh, that was reported today. Some really good news and some heartwarming news out of AEW. They released a statement earlier on today announcing a collaboration with the Owen Hart Foundation. And they have come to an agreement with them and Martha Hart to basically hold a Owen Hart tournament and produce some Owen Hart merchandise, allow Owen Hart to be uh, you know, a character in some video games and various other projects, and a lot of these proceeds are going to go to benefit the foundation. And this is just hugely wonderful news. I am so happy about this. I'm not going to read you the whole article. You can check this out over on AEW's Twitter page or website, but their one-paragraph press release that they sent out today, I just want to read because it basically gives you an overview of this. And here I quote, All Elite Wrestling and the Owen Hart Foundation, a nonprofit charity which provides a vast range of assistance and opportunities to individuals in need across the world, are collaborating to honor the legacy of late wrestler Owen Hart, a beloved figure in the professional wrestling community and beyond. This collaboration includes launching the annual Owen Hart Cup Tournament within AEW, which will see the winner receive a cup known as the Owen. I love that. As well as the production and distribution of unique and original Owen Hart merchandise, including specified retail goods, as well as upcoming AEW console video game. Is the upcoming AEW console video game. You can read the entire article. There's more details there. But basically, this is... Owen Hart finally being to kind of, finally being able to enter back into the professional wrestling world uh, via the foundation and via Martha Hart. You know, Martha Hart, as I've discussed at length, we've talked about Owen Hart and his death and the circumstances a hundred times on this channel. And I think the last time I really went into detail on it was the 20th anniversary of his death about two years ago when I did a little 30 minute podcast. And I've always been um, a very. Um, a very staunch defender of Martha Hart. You know, you cannot put yourself in her shoes. You cannot speak for her. You cannot say what she should do or anything like that. When you're in the position that she was building your own house, packing up your boxes, about to move into this brand new house, and you get a phone call that your husband has just been killed because his his rigging and his blue blazer costume failed. And, you know, how do you think, you know, of course she's going to have and harbor a lot of blame and resentment towards WWE. Would you be able to go back and work for someone like that that killed your spouse? She is well within her rights to never get over that. She is well within her rights to never want anything to do with WWE ever or Vince McMahon or that entire company. And she can stay as sour as that as she goddamn well pleases. You are not in that situation. She is. She lost her husband. Her kids lost a father. And I always wished that Owen Hart would go into the Hall of Fame. I wish the WWE could celebrate him more, but she's not willing to allow that to happen. And I don't blame her one single bit. I'm willing to sacrifice my my fan love for Owen to allow his family to grieve the way they choose to grieve. So with this deal being done, I just think it's fantastic because, you know, Martha doesn't have any sort of ill feelings towards AEW, and I'm sure they will do a, spe- a spectacular job honoring him because one thing I think AEW does better than WWE is they utilize their legends the best. WWE either has legends winning the fucking title or just coming out there, parading them out there to cut a meaningless promo. AEW uses these managers as, or these legends as managers or as ways to boost younger talent or to give them a rub or to to rub off some of that experience that they have onto them. And it's benefited a lot of people on the roster. So, you know, there is uh, more than enough room for Owen to be honored here in an annual Owen Hart Cup Oh, my God, that's great. You know, because when you think about it, WWE does the Dusty Cup, you know, but Cody and, and Cody is an executive in AEW and Dustin is there. You would think that they would want to do a Dusty Cup in AEW, but WWE's got the name to that. So AEW is going to do an Owen Cup and honor Owen. And this is the first time anything is really, really like that has been done. Now, I don't I didn't notice any sp- uh, sp- specifications on when this tournament might happen, if this is going to begin next year or if they're going to try to do this before year's end. I kind of hope that it it doesn't start until next year for one specific reason. There's already one guy that I already know I want to win the inaugural cup. He currently shares Owen's name, but when he wins the cup, he won't. Kevin Steen. He loves Owen Hart. That's, he, that's how he came up with his uh, last name to use in WWE, Owens. He named his kid Owen. 
after Owen Hart. I have a friend who did the same thing, my buddy Daniel, who was in the same room with me. We watched Owen Hart die together, uh, did the same thing, and named his, uh, named his son Owen. And uh, Owen was important to a lot of wrestling fans. So I'm kind of hoping that they hold off on the tournament. It doesn't start until, like, I don't know, March of next year, maybe around WrestleMania time. Kevin Steen comes in. He's the first guy to win it. And I don't know if it's going to be a cup that you get a new cup every year or if it's going to be like a Stanley Cup where they put the names on it. I wouldn't mind that. I wouldn't mind having the names on it because I don't want it to turn into a prop. You know, I don't want it to be, you know, carried around like WWE does with the stupid um, – Andre the Giant trophy or anything like that. It would be kind of cool if you got two of them because Owen's always had the two slammies, and the first guy to win two Owen Cups is probably going to want a picture like that. So maybe they'll do multiple Cups. All those details can be hammered out later. The bottom line is here, this is going to be an annual thing in AEW, and I can guarantee you it's going to be one of the things I'm going to look forward to the most every year is the Owen Hart Cup. That's going to be fun. I'm so happy about this. And uh, best news of the day. I mean, this has been a great 2021 in terms of what's happening and exciting things happening in wrestling with all these defections and debuts and AEW really gotten on the map, fans returning to the arenas, you know, great WrestleMania, great SummerSlam, great All Out. It's been a good year in terms of like excitement in wrestling. And this might top my list, you know, in terms of something that just really, really, really makes me happy. Now, among all of that positivity and that happiness and that heartwarming feeling you get from news like this, there's also... The dark side of that. And then you have a select few, even though it's probably in the 0.001%, but multiple people spoke out on this on Twitter today, including myself, uh, calling out a few people who actually had the nerve to have a problem with WWE, cho- I'm sorry, Martha Hart choosing to partner with AEW over WWE. One specific tweet was being tossed around, screenshotted, and talked about, and it was some dipshit basically saying that Vince McMahon should sue AEW for everything they have because they are using Owen, basically as if WWE owns Owen Hart's name. And Owen Hart was a WWE guy, and AEW is capitalizing on that. You have people that think that this is there's some sort of selfish ulterior motive here with AEW when this is a charitable... Now, number one, this is going to please a lot of people. Number one, the fans who all loved Owen. And also, it's going to benefit his foundation that was set up in his name. We have donated to that foundation on this channel before. You know, to 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 insist that something like this, that's just so innocent and pure, is is negative, just absolutely blows my mind what kind of a sick, disgusting soup that some people swim in out there in the wrestling world. It, it blows my mind. Um this this and says oh they're just doing it for this or this they're just doing it for that i mean i AEW has respect for the legends they prove that each and every week with all of the people they currently have employed there bret hart was the first person to really hold touch physically touch the AEW title i think bret hart should be there to present the cup to the winner although i don't know the relationship with martha and bret i don't know if martha would be okay with that or how much say in anything Martha even has or what the relationship is these days with Brett and her or her and some of the other members of the family I don't really know but having that tournament every year is just going to be something really awesome you know like you know, New Japan's got the G1 and WWE used to have King of the Ring to have the Owen Hart Cup is pretty damn awesome I just think that's so fucking great so to the fans that actually had the nerve to complain about this or have a problem with this or to throw shade at Martha Hart for betraying WWE? Do you hear yourself? Do you hear yourself? The company that was held liable for Owen Hart's death. There are a million things that could have been done that day to keep Owen alive. Was it an accident? Yes. Could it have been prevented? Also, yes. WWE should feel like shit. Vince should feel like shit till the day he dies for what happened to Owen. And to judge Martha Hart... Why don't you find somebody that you you love and strap them up to the fucking ceiling of an arena and drop them and then do business with the person that cut the cord? You going to do that? No, you're not. And to actually view this as anything other than just awesome um, is pretty goddamn sad. So those fans that I know there's not a ton of them, nobody that would ever watch this channel would ever say anything fucking stupid like that, but... There are people that actually have a problem with this because you got to remember we're in the middle of a tribal wrestling war right now. So 
anything AEW does, the anti AEW people are going to have an excuse why it sucks or it's shitty or it's you know it's uh it, there's some conspiracy, there's some bigger, greater um you know motivation for these things or whatnot and anti you know wwe people are probably singing some pretty happy tunes right now as well i don't think there's a place for any of that when it comes to this you know when it comes to something that's going to honor owen and benefit his foundation you know and a lot of this a lot of this language and a lot of this bullshit that came from these fans you got to remember owen's been dead for 22 years these fans that say stuff like this aren't old enough to remember who he even was. They aren't even qualified to speak his name, much less make assumptions like this or say that this is a wrong decision for Martha or the family or the foundation or anything like that. I think these people are too young, too immature to really even know who Owen Hart was and should shut their damn mouth. And it's pretty embarrassing. It's really embarrassing. I mean, if wrestling fans don't embarrass themselves enough and give us a bad name enough as it is on social media, you got to see something like this. So fans need to grow up. This is a great thing. And for Owen to be able to come back into wrestling in some way is not a bad thing. It's a good thing. I am so happy that they are not going to partner up with WWE and how dirty and fucking disgusting they are (laughs) with certain things. You know, it would, you know, this just feels much better. I can like breathe easier when I know that it's something like this. And I think it's a really great way just to honor Owen with an annual cup. That's awesome. It is a way for his name to live on now because honestly, I don't think we're going to get that in the WWE Hall of Fame. So at least we have an Owen Hart cup and we get to remember him at least once a year publicly as a wrestling community. That's nothing but good. And if you think otherwise, uh, unsubscribe from this channel. You're not welcome here.